Hello, today I'm going to show you uh, MicroPython working on the ASP32. Uh, as much uh, many of you should know by now, uh, Arduino is one of the, um, the most used environments to program the ASP32 uh, and it uh, was also for the ASP8266. Uh, but uh, MicroPython is also a very popular uh, programming environment. So it allows us to run some uh, of the Python commands, not all the features available, uh, available in Python are available in MicroPython. Uh, nevertheless, it has a very cool set of features and uh, it feels like a regular Python. Uh, in this uh, video I'm just doing a quick demonstration, I'm not going to explain how to install it, since I already made a post uh, about it on my blog and I think it will be easier for you to follow since all the comments are there to copy and paste um, here I'm just going to show you how it feels to, to use MicroPython and uh, how it is the, um, the interface uh, I have a lot of tutorials uh, also on my blog on uh, MicroPython on both ASP32 and ASP8266 but I'm planning to do some, some videos about it uh, so the first thing we need to know is open putty. If you follow the, um, the installation on my blog, you will see that uh, uh, we can use other software, but putty works uh, fine. So uh, as soon as you open putty, uh, you will see this, um, this window. SSH uh, is marked by default. Uh, we have to change it to serial since we are going to connect to the Python command line uh, through serial. Here you need to put the COM port where your um, ASP32 uh, is being uh, detected by your computer. Uh, in my case it's uh, COM5. Uh, from my experience the easiest way to find it is uh, really using the Arduino IDE. Uh, check what COM ports are available, plug the, the ASP32 uh, and then check the new one that will appear. Once you do it once, it's, uh, most of the times it stays in, uh, on that COM port. So you have to change the, the speed, the baud rate for 116200. Uh, this is the speed needed to connect to the, um, to the Python, micro Python command prompt. So uh, you can save it. Uh, for example, I have here a generic ASP connection, so I don't have to type all of these every time I want to connect. Uh, but this time we'll do it uh, manually. So then you click open and uh, here we go. Just as a note, uh, I will explain in a future uh, tutorial, but uh, you saw a couple of, of stuff uh, being printed to the, uh, to the command line. Uh, something always gets printed, but in my case, I have a script to automatically connect my, my ASP to a Wi-Fi network. Uh, so you should not see so much stuff. I am giving here a couple of enters just to clean it, but you shouldn't uh, see so much stuff, uh, but it will always print something. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm connected to the prompt, uh, and now I can start uh, programming or sending some Python commands. Uh, this is kind of, um, Python is a scripting language, so we can send these commands that are going to be interpreted. Uh, and if you want, I will also leave the, the link below. Uh, you can run uh, full scripts, which are uh, more, uh, which are easier if you want to write a full program instead of having to type the commands one by one. So we are going to start with a basic uh, hello world, which is kind of the the standard when we start uh, playing with some new language. So you just have, if you are not uh, acquainted yet with Python, you just have to write print, and between uh, brackets you have to 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 write the string you want. So let's say hello world. Okay, from MicroPython running on the ASP32. Okay, uh, now just hit enter and it outputs the, uh, the string we just uh, wrote. So it's very easy as you can see. Um, and you can do other stuff, so I'm going to assign a value to, uh, uh, to a variable, so my string equals to, let me write something, okay, no problem, and then print my string, and we have it. Uh, if you want, if you write the name of the variable, my string, 
you will get its value also but this is more like a feature of python uh, so if you don't know python already uh, it's a very easy to to learn language and i will encourage you to start uh, learning something about uh, python uh, just python and then try it on uh, micropython so this was just an introduction uh, i will do more videos as soon as i have uh, some time hope you have liked and uh, thank you for watching